Okay, so in this video, we go to do TikTok lives. Now, that is my home page. We're going into Creator Tools uh, Live Center. Um, at the moment, it's telling me there's no live analytics. That's because I have not done <laughs> many lives um, recently. So that's just what the Live Center page looks like. Um, what we do is go into Create Live. Now, have a look at this screen. What is your truth? Um, that is a TikTok suggested um, topic for your life. You can add your own topic. You can um, write whatever you want in there. You can then start playing with the filters. If you, if you can see on here, uh, that reflection on my glasses is pretty annoying on there. I have not played with these. Um, I think the whole purpose is to not worry about that stuff so much. So I don't think that's important. You can add a filter, of course, if you want it to look better or if your background's looking pretty average. Um, you can also use effects in there. So if you wanted to do something silly or crazy, knock yourself out, I probably would not be doing that. Um, if you have a look at all those different options down the bottom, they are all self-explanatory of, of picking up what you want to uh, use and if you want to add or utilise any of those settings and things in there. So, like, you can see as we're going through the screen here of what the different sections are, this is not going to be any different than you going through it yourself. Of course, however, with TikTok, everyone does have different things. So there are sometimes different options on different um, pages. Now, with lives, you can allow and not allow comments, which is good if you don't like people commenting. I used to find that with Facebook Lives that sometimes the comments or that high energy interaction when you were trying to get a message or something out um, can be quite disgusting. <laughs> That's a bit noisy there. <clears throat> okay, so I've added fireworks on there, which is actually pretty cool, but it's not something that you'd want the whole time if you were doing a live because I know some people do lives and they do them for like hours. So sometimes having some of those effects could be quite distracting. Um, but it's your life. You can do whatever you want. And clearly I'm just playing with effects. <laughs> This is what I mean with TikTok, you can get so distracted. But you can set up a live goal. Live goal encourages, live goal encourages viewers to support your stream content. Set a live goal. You can tap add a live goal before you go live. I don't even really know what that is. Um, I'm presuming it's for more of the bigger creators, but lucky that guy was there telling us what it was for. You can use TikTok Live Studio. Now, you have to have a certain amount of um, views and levels of things to get it. I haven't used it. I can't tell you how it works, um, but you're welcome to find out. But if you are just starting, you won't have access to it just yet. So there's nothing really um, too much to know about that because we can still go live so this is me going live I've clicked on go live this is what the screen looks like um, I'm just clicking on some of the buttons on the screen so you can see what's been happening see sometimes these um, suggested comments or questions will come up so you can have something to talk about because the whole idea is that viewer interaction um, see how it says we're notifying viewers that you're live. What that does is it actually sends messages to some of your TikTok friends. It said, oh, Anna is live. So that they go, oh, Anna's live. I'm going to jump on. So I see that sometimes. I don't know exactly how they do it or what um, the algorithm is and who they send it to or how many people, et cetera. But that's what they do do. Um, I only did a super quick live there because obviously it was super boring. <laughs> and I was just trying to do it for the purpose of this video. Um, but what I did was, I'll just go back actually. 
we go back to, so see up the top there on the um, live screen, how it's got like that power button in the top right hand side, that's how you end a live. So you just click on that um, button and then if we let this play. Okay, and then it comes up with end live. And then it, it, it says, well, you can also go live with another host. So if you've ever watched TikTok videos, sometimes you can see two people in there. So you can have more than one person on there. Like if, you know, you wanted to speak with someone else on there, you can. Okay, we will continue the video here. And then what happens afterwards is going to tell you your analytics of how the video went, how many viewers, people gave me gifts, uh, la di da di da. Um, you can download the replay if you wanted to put it into other places. So if you wanted to upload it to YouTube or something else like that. And then you can go back into the live server. And then like if you've done lots of lives, it, it can give you some more statistics. There. It can tell you. You know, if you've got new followers from the live, because what happens is when you are um, doing your live, it's it's normally for a reason. You either want to get out there and speak to people or you want to have that viewer interaction or you want more followers or you want more people on your page or you want people to discuss what you're talking about. So if you're doing it more and more, you are going to say, oh, if I do a live at this time talking about this, oh, look, I got an extra 15 followers because your live, um, where we've done that run through of what your TikTok page looks like, there are suggested lives in there. And if you flick past and you're talking about something at that same moment that someone's scrolling past and goes, oh, what's, what's she or he talking about? I'm going to click on that and see and then they may pop in for a, a few seconds and go oh this is boring I'm out or oh this is an interesting topic I'm going to keep listening and then if you like them they're going to go into your profile they're going to watch other videos they're going to start following etc so that's the whole purpose of the live is obviously to build up your following and to get more of that engagement so hopefully that helps you with the lives but do just remember if you are just starting out you may not have access to that I know when I first started there was um they did say you had to have a hundred, a thousand followers before you could go live. However, I was able to go live after having only 500. It does change. And I think it's different for everyone, but uh, I do encourage you to go give it a go. And honestly, if you want me on one of your lives or something, um, let me know when you're going live and I'll come on if I can. And I'm not asleep you know, time differences and stuff, but yeah, yeah. Go do a live and just see how different it is. If you're someone who's done lives on other platforms, TikTok lives are totally different. It's, it's a totally different vibe. I don't think I have the right words. You just have to go do it. Okay, now go do it.